Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a Lenovo L340-15 IRH or 17 IRH. Problem with those laptops is that this is the connector. The center piece breaks, the black piece falls off and uh, and if you just had to wiggle it back and forth and the laptop still works fine send it over i will replace it it's gonna work fine but once the center black piece breaks off people shove in the power supply in and the pins that are sticking out in there you will see there are pins in there uh, they start to touch each other and when you put uh, 10 amps through it, they short the motherboard. That's what happens to most of the Lenovo products out there. I mean, I get a comment that who am I? I am a nobody to critique the Lenovo design. Well, so be it. Anyways, so before you're gonna ship it over, before you're gonna ship any Lenovo product uh, this way that has this particular connector, please make sure this center piece is not broken. You just, it's just loose and you could still make it work sometime. If the center piece is broken, if it still powers up sometimes from the power supply, stop using it and send it over. Let me show you why. So here is the center piece that's broken. You see there is no piece. And here I can see that the center pin, center piece, the center metal piece is touching the positive ends. It the this is positives here, positive and here, let me show you here. This guy is positive. That center guy that touches the positive pins is the data signal. This is another positive. I just want to straighten it out and I'm not trying, I can't get this thing straightened out. Anyways, and here's the negatives right there. So when the data signal touches the positive signal, I'm not sure if it's going to work. But if the positive touches the negative and you shove in the 10 amps, it they will definitely short something. Again, I am a nobody from YouTube um, who has thousand plus videos on how to repair different sort of make, makes and models. But uh, this design basically amazing. I mean, the more designs like that, the more work I get. So um, I'm not here to critique Lenovo. I mean, the, the, the more Lenovo products people buy, the more, uh, the more work I get. Uh, but I'm just telling you that it's probably has a shortage on the motherboard already uh, because those pins are touching each other. And that doesn't matter if I replace this guy or not replace this guy, it's still not going to work. Uh, the only way to test it is, let's see if this guy here has the test points. This particular model doesn't have those test points, it seems like. On most of the other Lenovo's, I can test right away and see if if it's gonna, if replacing the connector gonna, uh, gonna make any difference. But here, usually here underneath that uh, Wi-Fi chip, there is a point where I can test it and not for this matter. For many Lenovo Allegiance that have exactly the same connector, I can test it. But for this one, uh, it's kind of hard to figure out if I can. Now, when replacing this connector, assuming your connector is faulty, right? J just the connector. You got this piece here. Right here, this piece. Right there. This guy. It's going to fly off the motherboard when you try to replace this guy. And it's probably going to fly off the motherboard in my case as well. There are two other components right here in the back uh, that also probably going to fly off the motherboard. So. When you do this kind of repair, I don't think anybody can really do it. Oh, and this this black filter right here, you need to make sure this guy stays on. So if you decide to fix it yourself, if you decide to fix it yourself, take a piece of foil, all right, just regular foil. It's in your kitchen, in your drawer. Ask your wife where it's at. Cut a little bit of foil. Cover all of those components here with the foil does the foil guarantee that nothing gonna fly off the board no it's not gonna guarantee especially in your case but i covered so many of those that that the one on the other side that will definitely come off for sure but i have the tools here to solder it back on 
And again, this video is probably of the connector that I'm gonna replace, which is not gonna work later on. But since it's here and since I could make a video, I figured I will make a video on how to replace it, um, even though it's not gonna work. Um, all right, again, just a nobody from a, from a YouTube who done thousands of videos on how to repair different different laptops, makes and models, who knows more about design, crappy design, <laughs> no good design, I guess this is a good design. Um, but yeah, the goal is to make sure you're gonna buy a new laptop every few years. So why make a laptop that's gonna last you a while when you can have somebody, something that's gonna stop working. I'm not saying Lenovo does that in any way, shape or form. So I'm just saying, I'm just, <laughs> it's my opinion, so to speak. Opinions expressed in this program are not affiliated with this channel. All right, so in any way, shape or form. All right, so you're gonna cover this guy like that. All right. So yeah, if there is company out there who would like to hire me to to design anything that's supposed to fail within a year or two, I I seen everything already in this uh, in in my twenty plus years of uh, repairing those guys. I seen pretty much every way how you can build in faults into the motherboards so that they will stop working every within a year or two after a year or two. So I seen everything and I probably, I think I fixed everything already. So anyways, so that's how you insulate, make sure that this guy is covered by the insulation. And what we're going to do next, we're going to use some, uh, leaded base solder for the points here, the, the connection points right there. And then we're going to use, uh, well, the jack was definitely faulty because look right there. So people wiggled it to death. Oh, and here I can show you how the pins are touching. Hold on one second here. Let's switch to the different camera. Right there, you see? Those are the pins right here. This is the center data pin right here. Kind of bent inwards like that. That's what hugs onto your pin from the connector. This is the positive and this is the positive and this is positive. All right, so once the positive touches the data, I'm not sure if it's going to short out the motherboard, but once the positive touches that negative part, and then you apply the 10 amps or like, or uh, 12 volts, 9 amps, or whatever the 19 volts, that's a 19 volt adapter. Um, and I think 11 amps, even, even 11 amps going through this, uh, this will short something, definitely. Um, you know, only Lenovo makes those kind of connectors. And I wonder why. <laughs> Read in between the lines, so to speak. Again, nothing against Lenovo. Great products. I mean, I'm a nobody to critique a company, a multi-billion dollar company that's uh, made so many wonderful laptops, you know. So good job, Lenovo. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about Lenovo products because that's what keeps me in business, right? So keep up the good work. Anyways, uh, so again, um, technically you don't really need a data signal unless you want to sell your own OEM power supplies to the clients in case their power supply goes bad because the data signal here tells, tells the laptop that I'm a, I'm a Lenovo power supply, you can charge the battery or you can power up the system. The plus and minus is all we actually need, but because we have an extra complicated layer right here for the handshake, uh, that's the reason why they designed this kind of connector. Uh, this connector, again, I'm a nobody, all right? So this is just something that just, just an opinion, all right? In my opinion, this connector is not made to handle 11 amps. And I think if you go to any of the websites that sell those kind of connectors, the throughput amperage on those 
is probably like 3 amps, all right, at 19 volts. So about 60 wattage supposed to be coming through this thing here. So, so obviously nobody reads, so we can just put in whatever we want to put in into the motherboard. So again, I'm a nobody. I, I, whatever my commenters state that I'm a nobody to critique any of those designs. Again, be my guest, buy a Lenovo laptop, all right? All right, so let me add some solder in the back right here. Um, leaded base solder, leaded base solder, gonna mix with the unleaded base solder. I'm gonna put some hot air on, on this connector and it's gonna pop right off. And the reason I show you that, so that uh, you wouldn't mess the board up because most of the work I get here are the people who try to fix it themselves, but unable to do it. And in order for you not to mess up the nearby components, that's the reason I show you just put the foil on top of the, I mean, you can put the, um, this guy right here, 3M uh, tape, but it has a sticky point right here and, and those components are going to be lifted off the motherboard. For this particular board, I'm not using the foil, uh, I mean, I'm not using the thermal tape and I'm not using the uh, the captain tape right here. Captain tape, you can just stick it on again. The captain tape is going to lift this guy up for sure. All right, so let's switch to the uh, the uh, soldering station. I forgot to turn on the camera while I was desoldering this guy. Um, do all right. Anyways, I already desoldered this guy here by using the hot air. This guy. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the new connector in. So that's the old connector. That's the new connector. And the video was going on so good. good. All right. Anyways, I guess we get sometimes a flop. All right. Now I'm not gonna pause the videos anymore. So just just keep doing what I'm doing. It's all about people calling me in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the recording. Anyways, let's connect this guy and let's get the soldering iron like that. Solder this guy in place. Solder that guy in place. Uh, if you want to see how the connector is being desoldered, just open up one of my videos for Lenovo Legion repairs. It's going to show I have like a couple dozen, dozen of those. And somebody's texting me. All right, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this guy over and use some flux. Some flux and, and solder this guy up here. I just I try to make the length of the video shorter by using the pause button all the time on recording. And I do forget to unpause the video. I'm thinking I'm rolling, but I'm not rolling. So, all right. Now, usually what you want to do is you want to solder through those rear points here because they almost never get soldered through. All right, looks good, looks good, and looks good, wonderful. All right, so now that we take off all of the insulation, They want to make sure that that piece right there still stays where it's supposed to stay at. All 
right. And I'm pretty much happy with the soldering job. I want to do a little bit more is just make sure this one is penetrated well enough. All right, looks good. Okay. All righty. And all righty. Looks good. So much flux, so much flux residue here, all right. Anyway, so I'm just going to disregard the connector. Video turned out to be extremely short. Anyways, let's see. Let's take a look here. All right, all right. All right, all right, and all right. So here we got this thing going here, and we got it. All right, so the pluses are fine, the data is fine, the negatives are fine. I need to test it on the load and see if it's gonna be shorting or not. If it's not gonna short, it's probably gonna be all right. So let me bring the, the power supply compatible. Alrighty, let's see if we can just uh, measure and see the voltage coming out of this guy. If it's coming out of that guy, we should be good. Like that. And... And... Yeah, we got voltage coming out of this guy. Alright, so let me disconnect it. Now we're disconnecting here. Now we're gonna disconnect it here because... All right, so this board should be fine. And again, this video is to show you that if the pins are touching each other between the data and the positive, you should be fine. Between the positive and the negative, you're probably not going to be fine. All right, so the jack is replaced. Sorry, I didn't show you the replacement process, but again, 1,000 plus videos, every one of those videos show how to take the connector off the motherboard. This is going to be, what, 18-minute video. All right. Thanks so much, guys. You take care and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.